I remember when Jake told me that he was going to propose to Lindsay. And I was honestly shocked. I said, damn, you think she likes you that much? <laughs> and, you know, he, he went ahead and did it. Um, he, he, he tried it, and it, it worked out. So for those of you who know Jake, you know that anything he enjoys, um, anything he's passionate about, he's going to give it his 110%. He's going to do all his research. He's going to go as hard as he can and be the best that he can at that thing. And I think the thing that he is the most passionate about that I found out through those three-hour phone call conversations was Lindsay. So I just wanted to let you know, Lindsay, based on knowing this man right here, just like he, you know, anything else that he's passionate about, he's going to give it his all. So I really think as your husband, because he is so passionate about you as a person, he's going to give it his all and you can't ask for a better husband than that. So, <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm supposed to give a toast or not, but if you guys want to drink, you know, we can do that. So if we can raise a glass to Jake and Lindsay. I, Lindsay, take you, Jacob, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold. From this day forward, for better and for worse, for richer and for poorer, in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish, till death do we part. First, I want to start with Jake. You know, I never met such a genuine guy in my life. Just a great guy. I'm so happy he's in our family. Uh, and uh, you know, I always prided myself on my family being very close. And once I met his family, I'm like, wow, the other families are just as close as ours. So this is really cool because they really are. And uh, we really love that. And they're great also, and we really appreciate it. Um, so once again, it's our pleasure to have you as part of our family. Um, and now, uh, Lindsay. Lindsay, uh, that's my daughter. Yeah. Um, wow. I mean, all my kids are great, but it's her night, so I'm going to talk about her. Um, what a great girl. Um, just like Jake, as genuine as could be. You're a lucky man, and you know that. I mean, stupid. So, um, just, we couldn't be happier. Um, just the heart of gold, which <clears throat> obviously she takes after her mother, not me on that part um, but we're really happy and, and we kind of be loved here and uh, we just want to thank everybody I now pronounce you husband and wife you may kiss the bride <laughs> ladies and gentlemen let me introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Jacob and Lindsay Courtney. grown to not only be sisters but best friends. We can call or text each other any time of the day to vent, give advice, and when it's advice from a sister it's the best kind because you know they have your best interest at heart. Even though you're my younger sister, I look up to you in so many ways. You're so kind, you're beautiful, you're positive and selfless. Anyone that knows Lindsay knows how great of a person she is and I really do admire so many things about you. When I think of Jake and Lindsay, the phrase that comes to mind is, they're two peas in a pod. I can honestly say these two are the definition of a perfect match. They have the same goals, the same hobbies, and they're each other's biggest supporters. Jake, you really are the perfect addition to our family, and not only are you great to all of us, but you make my sister so happy, and that's all we could ever ask for. I have loved watching your guys' love story unfold over the past seven years, and I can't wait to see what the next 70 brings. I love you both so much, and I wish you guys nothing but a lifetime of happiness. So everyone, raise our glass and cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Courtney.